everybody this is crystal so i'm going to do a review kind of on the colors of this lion brand ombre life yarn um so because i know in when you look at colors online um at the online shopping it's really hard to tell the colors so i'm going to try to give you a good close-up of the colors on camera so maybe you can make a more informed decision if you decide to buy this yarn what color that you like so this is Lion Brand's Ombre Life Yarn, and it comes in 12 different colors. So we'll go over each one individually. Now, we'll start off with, it is a number two fine yarn. So it's quite thin. Great for, it would be great for lace work, you know, when I'm, any kind of a lacy project that you have in mind. Um, and there are 400 and 37 yards per skein and it says here that one ball will make a scarf so you know if you're gonna make a shawl you might have to get a couple balls um, maybe a few of each color I'm not quite sure depending on how big of a shawl I think it would make a gorgeous shawl and these run um, pretty much close to everywhere $5.99 a skein lionbrand.com $5.99 a skein now, if you never ordered from there before, you can use the uh, coupon or the promo code online, welcome20, and it will take 20% off. Um, I got mine from Joann's. They did have all 12 colors. Um, and they were on clearance, I believe, or on sale when I got them for $4.49. Also, they have <clears throat> coupons all the time on Joann's for 20% off, even sell items. So, your best place would probably be Joann's but they do run regular $5.99 just on Joann's but they do have them on sale a lot if you're interested in getting them but that's the price of them so we'll go over the colors the first color here is called a walk in the park and it's very pretty now really the definition of an ombre is taking a color a hue of a color and kind of just a very gradual change from dark to light now when you think of ombre you would think that it would all be the same color like this would all be blue from dark to light but that doesn't necessarily have to be an ombre it, it just means um, like how it has the blue and the green and the light green it's just a gradual change in colors so it's it, the change is very subtle like the blue would blends in very well with the green into the light green so ombre doesn't always have to be the same color changing from dark to light. It can have a mix of different colors as long as the colors change gradually, you know, not abruptly. And the walk in the park, or walk in the park, this one has the blue, which it would, will go into a gradual change of green and then to light green. It's very pretty. I really like this one. So that's a walk in the park. Okay, the next one we have is called Cloudy Day. Very pretty. It's a very, very pale, pale pink. Maybe even close to tan. Or champagne, probably. I would, I would call it more of a champagne. Uh, gradually change into a grayish champagne colored. And then to a gradual white. It's a very pretty one also. I actually consider all of them very pretty. So this is Cloudy Day. Okay, the next one we have is Dusk. I guess this would be more of your traditional ombre because it is all blue. Changing from dark to medium to light. Another pretty one. And this one is Dusk. Okay, the next one we have is called Happy Hour. And again, it's pretty much all shades of purple, starting with the dark, the medium, 
into the lightest shade. Very nice. Happy hour. Okay, the next one is called Sunrise. And it's going to go from a sky blue, gradually change into a light to medium purple, and then into a peach color. Not your traditional ombre, but still considered an ombre. Very nice. Sunrise. Next one we got is Midnight. It's gonna go from the black to the gray to the light gray. Might be a touch of white in the center, I can't really tell. Midnight. Okay, the next one we got, I'm gonna grab is called Tea Time. So it goes from kind of a mauve color, I would say, to a light purple, and then it mixes in with a whitish pinkish color. Maybe this be more of a salmon to a light purple, to a, a whitish pink. It looks like they blend quite nicely together by looking at them. I can tell that they're gonna blend well when you're working with them. So this one is called Tea Time. Okay, the next one we got here is Twilight. Very pretty. The darkest the blue to the medium, which is blending right into the light. Very pretty. It's a nice blend. I can see it right off. Twilight. Okay, the next one we got is called Nap Time. Again, wouldn't it be considered your traditional ombre, but it is by definition still an ombre because of the gradual change of colors. It goes from purple, and you can see the purple mixes in with the green as it changes, and the same for the green to the gray, or kind of a very very pale purple maybe there. Very pretty. Nap time. Next one we got here is rush hour. So it goes from a red, maybe not like a bright red, a dull red to a, a gray, and you can still see the mix in them as they're changing. Dark gray to a medium and then to a light. So that one is Rush Hour. The next one we got is brunch. So it's all purples. It goes from a medium to a light and then to a very, very light purple into the center. Very nice. 
brunch. Okay, and the last one we got over here is called Date Night. And it goes from, not the brightest red, a red, but not a real bright red, gradually going into a, oh, really light coral color, and then gradually going into a very pale pink, almost whitish, pale pink to white, I would say. date night so that's all of them and I really like them all there is not one that I don't like to tell you the truth they are all gorgeous and the color changes just by looking you can tell are going to be gorgeous I will be making something out of these soon even though I'm not a fan of a fine number two I am going to still use them they are very soft they're nice and soft and you they will have very nice drape on whatever you use them for now if I had to choose a favorite it would be very hard because like I said they are all very very pretty yarns should I lay them all out here for you so you can see them one more time but my favorite would be probably walk in the park the very first one very pretty i'm gonna make something out of this shortly something very lacy and drapey and hopefully everybody likes it i have an idea in mind so you'll be looking for that tutorial it's very pretty so you've seen all the colors you seen the you can see really see the gradual change in them. And it's very lightweight, very lightweight. But all very pretty. So tell me, which color is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section. And I hope this tutorial helped people out if they were wanting thinking about this yarn and just weren't sure color wise because of the pictures on the internet were just not good. I hopefully I showed them well, presented them well. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Bye everybody.